Hi there, and welcome back. This is Nigel Quinnin, VP of Development at LumenVox, and this is the fourth installment of our seven-piece video series installing Asterisk 13 UniMRCP and LumenVox 13.1. In uh, this uh, episode, we're going to be installing the UniMRCP library. Okay, if you remember uh, from previous sessions, we installed PJSIP, Asterisk 13, and the previous video we installed the Uni MRCP dependencies, which were the APR library and the SOFIA SIP libraries that are needed prior to installing Uni MRCP. So um, we're on step four, which is installing Uni MRCP. And again, I just want to come go over the, the these three steps in particular: the installing the U Uni MRCP. Uh, dependencies, installing UniMRCP library, and installing the asterisk UniMRCP modules. Again, a lot of confusion between these three, so I'm hoping to um, to make it a little clearer to everybody what exactly is going on here. So again, we've installed those dependencies, which need to be installed before installing the UniMRCP library itself. Um, so in this video, we're going to be installing the UniMRCP library, and the important thing to to uh, to bear in mind about this is it is a library that we're installing on the Linux system. Uh, this has, without um, step five, this UniMRCP has nothing to do with asterisk. So it's important to understand that this is a library that is able to communicate with MRCP um, to various things. Um, in the following step, we will be installing the asterisk UniMRCP modules uh, for Asterisk, again, some of the naming conventions here are not helping with the confusion. Um, but anyway, these are the this is the sequence that needs to be followed, and there are three distinct steps that need to be done in this order. Um, and again, we have the dependencies for the library, we have the library itself, and then we have the modules that plug into Asterisk that talk to this library, and the three of these together uh, enable asterisk to talk to LumenVox using the MRCP protocol. Again, I understand, very confusing, but hopefully this makes it a little bit clearer as to what's going on. Okay, so I, I think I described the, uh, you know, why install it. This is the main uh, UniMRCP library. It is used to enable MRCP communication. Again, nothing to do with asterisk at this point. Um, that will be coming in the following video, the following step, when we enable the UniMRCP, sorry, the asterisk UniMRCP modules. Um, so that is what this step is doing. More details, again, refer you back to UniMRCP.org. Um, plenty of information on there and support if you need it. Um, there's lots of documentation on the web about uh, doing all of this stuff. Um, and again, I can't reiterate it enough. Look, LumenVox are nice, helpful folk, and we, we know some things about UniMRCP and some things about Asterisk. We don't claim to be experts in either one. So <laughs> I know people keep coming to us with all of these questions, hoping we have the answers. Uh, we honestly don't. <laughs> we, we wish we did. We don't. So please, if you've got any questions about UniMRCP, go to UniMRCP.org. Uh, any questions about Asterisk, um, Digium is the way to go. And then once we've installed this, as I mentioned, we'll go on and do the asterisk UniMRCP module installation, which connects all of the dots. Okay, back to our console window again. Um, we, oops, we are uh, going to move back into our user source folder. That's where we are downloading everything. Um, and this time we are going to do a wget of the UniMRCP package here. And in fact, you may notice um, it, what I did in the in the previous video as well is um, I actually used the 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 the, the dash o uh, parameter here to rename the file as we're downloading it. Uh, the way that it's currently set up on the UniMRCP site, if you just do a wget of this, uh, it will actually create a file called download, which is kind of confusing, and uh, you you may you may get confused uh, <laughs> or mixed up later on. Renaming it to uh, something sensible uh, while we're doing the the download is uh, the way to go. So we're doing that. 
It doesn't take very long. Now we are going to uh, unzip it. And then we will change into the uni RCP 1.30 folder. And then we are going to run a bootstrap command, which basically gets things ready um, for the configuration and build process. So we'll just let it do its thing here. Great. Um, the next step is going to be to run configure. Now, you remember earlier on when we put those um, dependencies in, uh, we, we needed to keep track of the local folders. This is where we need it. So the, uh, the various parameters in here are, are needed to configure the UniRCP library correctly um, so that it knows where to find uh, the APR library. Uh, again, these are... Um, these will all be part of the documentation that goes along with this. Um, but these missing, if you miss these parameters, you can end up in all kinds of problems. And now we're building. All right, that process didn't take very long at all. And as you see, there are um, all green lights down here. This is looking very good. Uh, we have a successful uh, configuration um, set up. So now we can continue on and do the make of the, um, the UniRCP client library, and this is actually building the library. Uh, this one's going to take a little while. Great, and that completed in a, a minute or so, so not too long. Um, so we did the make, uh, now we're going to do make install. And again, that one didn't take very long, but that moves everything to the correct uh, location. So that's it for this video. We've actually uh, created the, uh, the UniMRCP client library um, that is um, ready to go. What I should probably point out here is if you run into problems uh, during the, the bootstrap, during the configure or the build, or sorry, the make um, of this library, uh, again, generally it tells you what the problem is, if it's missing some dependency or some tool that needs to be installed to make things uh, work. Um, obviously, just follow whatever um, directions are there and install whatever needs to be to be installed and then um, start the process again. So again, we are uh, good to go with the uh, UniMRCP library. The next step is to move on to the asterisk UniMRCP modules. Um, that will be happening in the next video. Thanks for watching.